Welcome back to The Med Life. My name is Dr. Adam Goodkoff, and today we are doing a safety glass shootout in healthcare. It's no secret that we're wearing safety glasses or goggles all of the time. We're gonna pit them head to head in a couple tests today, try them all on, check out their style, their fit, how they actually work for blocking droplets, and so much more. You're gonna wanna see this. I figure you can only go up, and according to Amazon, this is a one-star rated glasses, safety glass. Uh, it was only $7.99, so it's quite cheap, but why is it one star? Well, there's only one rating, $7.99, it only comes in this one color. So this looks like their take on safety glass is gonna be like a rubber extension here that is going to be protective. It has a wraparound glass lens, but it's where the, where the plastic is, so you wouldn't be able to see. They really don't look like any kind of glasses. I guess, let's see what they look like on. Uh... And let's see how they fit on a mask. So, oh, they're already, can you guys see that? I mean, they're fogging straight up. Oh, that, that's really bad. <coughs> it's time for the spray test. I've put some colored liquid in here and we'll spray this directly at my face. And I guess, uh, here goes nothing. Oh. My face is protected. My eyes are protected. Now I think it's only fair since all of these glasses seem to be concerned about the side view that we shoot myself from the side. I really hope this does not go into my eye. It did not. It did not. Great. Uh, these did their job and as much as I made fun of them in the initial portion, uh, these did not let any fluid into my face or my eyes, like into, into the area protected. Pretty impressed with the ability to resist liquid in these. We have our Lyan San glasses. I'm not gonna lie, this is not a style that I would wear. Here's my um, tortoise leopard type um, glasses here. I guess like the idea is the look is nice, but I, I don't feel like these are safe um, from the side. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll find, even on the bottom, I fit my index fingers in here, like it's no problem. Uh, not feeling great about that. They have a coated lens and actually it's, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's doing really well. And these actually, they're very comfortable. Um, they're kind of sitting above the mask, which is a nice change. Usually I'm like trying to push them up. This, this is fitting pretty nice. Let's see how they do. These do have the top covers. Okay, worked well from the front and the side. Not good, not good. Not good. That eye is gonna turn. I gotta go wash my face. <laughs> These are the Aizo. Aizo, Aizo. So let's see, a similar design, right? Everyone's picking up on the design. These, interestingly, have a top shield, which is interesting. Uh, I'm wondering how that's gonna do in the fog test, but I, I think I know how it's gonna do in the spray test. Let's see here. So let's check them on for fit here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have big eyebrows, these are like putting my eyebrows outside of the glasses. I feel like I have to keep lifting my eyes. So uh, th this extension is really uncomfortable for me. I'd have to like move them out. Yeah, they're anti-fog coated. The lenses are absolutely not fogging and the sides are. Well, this is what I was afraid was gonna happen. Yep, they, so they are not fogging, but they're getting that film on them. Which might as well be fog. Yeah, and it's distorting what I see up here. All right, let's give them a go. These are clear, this should show up nicely. Nice. Nothing in my eyes though, and the side? Oh. Okay, so 
Not so great. I need to go wash my face, it's burning. <laughs> Next up I have Foxfish. Now these were also pretty highly rated. They had a four star rating with almost 200 reviews and they were only $19.99, so they're coming in under the $20 price point. Let's get into these, let's throw them on and check the fit. They actually look kind of nice. Again, I'm just checking based on the reflection in the camera. I don't actually have a way to see, but they, they seem nice. Yeah, it's doing really well. And these actually, they're very comfortable. Um, they're kind of sitting above the mask, which is a nice change. Usually I'm like trying to push them up. This, this is fitting pretty nice. So um, I would say these pass the fog test. Let's find out how well they really work. All right, from the front. Okay, from the side. Oh, it's in my eye. It's in my eye. Oh, that's a fail. Fail. Side does not work for sure. Next up are the Leon Designs. Also pretty nice. They're fogging up. Uh, it might just be the sides. Yeah, it's mainly the sides. Actually, so the lenses on these are doing, doing pretty good. Let's test them out. Got them on comfortably and protected. On the side. Yeah, that actually did not get in my eye. Kudos. They passed the splash test. The Stoggles. Now, these are apparently your everyday goggles. These have become a fashion statement. You see these around in the hospital all the time. So these are the round blue Stoggles. You can see them here. They are blue light coated, so they say. Um, let's see. So overall, I mean, they're, they're very lightweight. Let's try them on. That looks kind of smart. These feel pretty good. They're very comfortable on my face. They sit nicely on my nose. And, and I feel like they're probably gonna be pretty protective, but we've gotta do the mask test and see if that fog coating really works. Okay, these are no fog. The side pieces here are fogging. So you can see that the, the plastic on the side is fogging up a little bit. You don't see out the side, but with your peripheral vision, you, you can tell that it's fogging. The lens does not fog. Let me, I mean, it just doesn't, it doesn't fog. So whatever coating is on these is pretty impressive. Let's get these on and try the big kahunas. Here it goes, one to the face. Um, it wasn't pleasant. No, it, it worked. And then here's our side angle. There's no, you can see it there. It did not get me. I'm impressed by the splash test. They were not as protective as the goggles, but to be fair, they don't have a giant rubber grommet around the outside. They protected me from the side. They protected me from straight on. And let's be real, most of the time you're dealing with something that's splashing, it's straight on, but we're being thorough here. Now go ahead and have your laugh about an ER doctor wearing tactical glasses. They fit very snug. Um, they don't have a super wide wraparound, but it comes plenty past my eye. I have been wearing these for years now, and they are uh, fog resistant, but we need the mask test to find out. Okay, I have it open and time to make some fog. Actually, a little bit. It's, they're doing pretty well. So honestly, for something that's been cleaned so many times, I'm pretty impressed. I've been using these glasses for years. Let's see how well they actually do. I'm kind of curious. Up close, here it is. <laughs> it 
Perfect pass, and from the side. Yeah, that actually felt significantly better than the Stoggles, so it's good to know that at least spending over $100 on glasses, they do what they're supposed to do. So in closing, if I had to pick one pair of glasses, am I going to switch from my Oakleys to these Stoggles? Honestly, I'm not. I'm gonna keep wearing my Oakleys. They're much more comfortable for me. I have a wider field of view. They're still anti-fog and they're just, they're, they're more comfortable. That said, I do think the Stoggles are more stylish. They're a little more sleek from the front looking. They have different colors. And so I may just mix it up for fun. Uh, these are blue light blocking, my Oakleys are not. So there's some extra features here, but overall I would say it is worth spending a little bit more. These are your eyes, they're one of our most important organs, protect them. You decide what's worth it to you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. There are links down below if you wanna pick up or try out any of these glasses for yourself. And please hit that subscribe button so we don't miss you in the next video.